dating. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. Listen. I'm overrated. <laughs> I knew she was going to say it. Overrated. I'm But dead. why, though? I mean, why is dating this day and age so overrated? Oh, my God. I've been out the game forever, so. The streets like, is a lot. The streets is a lot. Do you guys agree or disagree? You the see streets. how hot. You see how hot my baby sister is. Why can't you find that husband? This is Chris Johnson, aka your master trainer, and we back with another underrated, overrated, or evenly rated. And I have my special guest, my girl, Liz. What's up, Liz? What's up? Oh my God! I'm tired. So I'm tired. He yeah. had me up at 6:40 this morning. I'm hoping, up... hoping she I'm was out there today. getting buckets. Listen. You guys know what time it is. We're going to get straight to the show. We got our guy in the back, our favorite narrator, Logan. Mm -hmm. Let's get to sure, it, Logan. Today's MVP. Thank you, thank you. St. Barb's. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I just snorted so heavy in the microphone. Hey. I, I'm going to be honest. I had no idea what that island was until I got there. It is. It is what it is. It's amazing. It's evenly rated? It's so expensive, though. Wow. I've never been somewhere, so it, like, apart from Mykonos. Right. Where we drove I've past, been to Mykonos. We drove past the Thai restaurant, right? I looked at the menu. They had a green curry for 33 euros. Oh, that's crazy. That is like $50 Australian. That is like $43 <laughs> American. Nah, go to so hell with that. So I got to be evenly rated for me because I've never been. I only live through Liz. Yo, I'm the shit. If someone else wants to take me there again, I'm a go. But it's a, it, it is what it is. It, it it's it's a, it, yeah. I don't know how to rate it. Evenly. Even okay. Evenly. Evenly. Dating. <sighs> shit. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> Listen. I overrated. <laughs> I knew she was gonna say it. Overrated. I'm but why though? I mean, why is dating this day and age so overrated? Oh my god! I've been out the game forever, so the streets like, is a lot. The streets is a lot. Do you guys agree or disagree? You the see streets. how hot. You see how hot my baby sister is. Why can't you find that husband? <laughs> <laughs> So you guys heard it right there. Dating in 2021 is overrated. I got too much to do than worry about men. We're going to find you a husband, though. Mm, That's a fact. Hey, listen. You. Matter of fact, text me. 310-388-8610. Liz. Keyword is Liz. L-I-Z. <laughs> Keyword is Liz. And we're going to find our husband today. We're going to find it. We got it. Keyword. Text me today. Links is down in the description. Vegan. Huh? Vegan. Being vegan, I think it's underrated. Okay. Um, it has a really bad rap. Diet, like, it's very extreme, but I don't think people really focus on, like, where meat comes from and what they're actually putting in their body. Like, if you do the research into where your meat comes from and where it's farmed and what goes into it and how it just sits in right. the supermarkets for weeks. You wouldn't be putting it in your body, so. I'm plant-based focused. I don't use the yeah. title vegan Same. because I use honey. Yeah. And I like a little fish every now and then, yeah. but I'm and away from. And eggs? Ah, I, mean, I haven't. Every but, day. But shout out to Beyond Meat. Mm. We need, you need a sponsor right here. Mm. Beyond Meat, come holler at us. We get you a deal with Beyond Me. Where the money? Hey, where the money resides? <laughs> Let's go. Where the, where the money resides? Where the money? Where the money resides? Yeah, I love, I love uh, fake meat burgers. <laughs> I'm <just> so proud. <laughs> I knew what you should say. 
Overseas basketball. Uh, <laughs> I think for me, I think overseas basketball is underrated, mm. and I'll tell you why. Yeah. Okay. So I have players all around the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. China, mm -hmm. Japan, Europe. Mm -hmm. So cover whole of Europe, even in South America, like Brazil, place Australia. Mm -hmm. And each one of those countries have their own league. Yep. Okay. Now they're not as structured as as a long of a league with month wise because of the layouts. Yeah. But I have some of the best basketball players in the world yeah. that have played either in the States. Mm -hmm. and then finished their career overseas mm -hmm. or they started their their career overseas and came back into the states mm -hmm. and so i just love the fact that you get a chance to see other countries mm -hmm. you get to experience other cultures and you know some of those basketball uh areas are like amazing to play mm -hmm. now what about you so i think i think that it's underrated especially for fans watching basketball like your league goes off yeah, it goes um, off. MBL is real nice in Australia. For sure. And it's like Australia is real nice living. It's a yeah, summer league it's a in summer Australia. League. It's crazy. Like we play like one or two games a week. A lot of people that don't know in Australia, our winter mm. is Australia summer. Yeah, we're the opposite to America. Exact opposite. Yeah. So when people are going over to play in Australia, mm -hmm. they're actually playing in the summertime. We're playing in the summertime. It's kind of beautiful. Beach recovery after a game. That's what I'm saying. Like just so it's, training and coffees and sunshine. It's real cruisy living. The Australian league is nice. Underrated. Nice. Yeah. And I, I like own my game to China. Being the only oh. import like in the women's side, oh. it's one import. So I'd be the only import, and the men get two imports. Oh, they I get think two. they get three No, they now. get three now. They get three now? Yeah, and they can kick you off the team. And so you're the go-to player. Like, I'm getting that bag because I'm the go-to player. So I come down, I get the ball straight away. Yeah, straight away. It's so <laughs> nice. And that's that. That's why I think um, like overseas basketball is underrated. For sure. And European League, ooh, I could watch that all day. Yeah. That'd be nice. It's I got a good. question. I got a question. So, well, I want to know if this is underrated, overrated. Mm. Should I start... Okay, not a WNBA league, mm. but a swimsuit league. What is that? Like women hooping in swimsuits. Like a lingerie league. Yo, what? Yo, I saw that in, someone sent me that video in Atlanta. Like, like no, like it's a lingerie football league. Why couldn't it be a lingerie basketball league? Shit. No. I'll watch the men hoop. <laughs> this Shit, was a good question. We just, gonna make it a mixed league? Count me if it's mixed. I'm in. Just asking. Piercings. Evenly rated. You know, it, wait, we're talking like piercings. It's all about. You know, piercings. at one point, so I got five. That was one point. I had like ten, you eleven. Had, you I had, you had, I had, had a eleven, ring? For, and I never had a tongue ring. Wow. I had okay. eleven piercings. That's crazy. At one point in my life. I had to take two of them out because it was too getting too dangerous on the court. Yeah, for sure. Is it is it overrated, piercings or underrated? I don't know. They're just dangerous. <laughs> Evenly rated. They dangerous. I had when I had my nose. I used to have my septum. What? I, I, yeah, you didn't know me. Like I that. didn't see you like yeah, that. I only I took it out a couple, but I used to have this. I, I don't know who let me. I look so ugly with it. I had it for years. No one was like, you look ugly with that. <laughs> No one told me until I took it out. I was like, I look a lot. Anyway, I would take, I would like take my shirt. I'll take it and it would get caught. Oh my like, gosh. I'd be, I would be trying on clothes and it, it, piercings are a mess. It's bed dangerous. Only fans. Yo, why are you <laughs> She like, definitely should start her under all the fans. Where the money is. Where the money is. Hey, only fans. I can't hate. I can't hate. Get your bag. Get, Get your, your money. Get your bag. Get your money. Because I'm starting one. Now, I didn't say I was showing anything. I mean, don't I have a fans? Don't I have fans? I have OnlyFans? The I'm, amount of money I could be making of OnlyFans is crazy. Crazy. I'm not going to say a name, but I heard someone was making $3 million a month. Oh, what? I'm not gonna say what? That. What am I doing L sitting here? Logan is such an instigator. Wait, someone, someone in LA is making $3 million a month. Who? Uh, it ain't me. It and I'm not her. making it, it but I will us. definitely. Logan, listen. Kennedy, we starting our OnlyFans. Make sure you guys sign up. It, it needs to be called something else, though. Like, if I was going to do something like that, like sell, like, members-only content, like, I'd, I'd build my own base. 
I wouldn't take it's like away. Like a whole website. Just yeah. To pay Low key, OnlyFans hit me up to join. Right, why not? Yeah. yeah. So they're definitely not overrated. They're definitely not underrated. I think they're exactly where it needs to be because it's an opportunity for people to build content. Shit, get your money, honey. Yeah. That's all I say. Quarantine. Lord Jesus. Come on now, you know quarantine is overrated. People are getting <laughs> finna go crazy as soon as nah, they get out of quarantine. It's, it's How's Australia? Coming from Australia, <laughs> I did two weeks. When I left you last year, I did two weeks in a hotel room. Like just That's me. That's crazy. Getting with the police, little bike, with your bike. Yeah, I had my bike, I had a bathtub. <laughs> like that, I, it was low key vacation. <laughs> I did. I was still doing 10,000 steps a day. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. But for the safety of the, like, Australia had, no, it just popped off again in Melbourne. Like, they're back oh. in lockdown this weekend. Five days hard mm. lockdown. Wow. But quarantine, like, it, it's underrated. It's, I know it's, it's tough. It's not easy, but we're going through a really tough time. Right. The whole world. But it's tough. It's going to be over soon. We got the vaccine. We're going to be chilling. Let's get out. Back get club. back to North. Bring back festivals. Bring back fans. <laughs> Bring fans. back fans. ASAP. Love them. Bring back fans, yo. Migos. I need them to produce some more, another album or something. I mean, they had a they had a great album. They have they have they put out anything? They've been yet? quiet for a minute. They've been but quiet. They've done all solo stuff. Is yeah. that now? Their solo stuff has been really good. No, I love. And Migos. I like Quavo because Quavo can hoop. Yeah. So evenly rated. They they're even. Instagram influencers. <laughs> Evenly rated. Some of it is so overrated. Okay. Like I was looking at this sauna and I was looking at the sauna's like tagged photos because I want to see what it was really like. There was this influenza, full face of makeup in the in the infrared sauna <laughs> and she's holding her water. Then she there's a photo of her pouring the water on her head, like full lashes and makeup in a sauna. This, this is crazy. Like what am I you even You think it's going at? out of control? It's out of control. <laughs> When you got women in full like makeup application and hair pouring water on their heads in like a sauna pretending to like that is crazy. That some of y'all are crazy. Wow. And I like I am influencer. Right. I would think it's like an evenly rated, but I mean I, I can't disagree with you. I, I, I can see it both ways. And I fought it for a long time, but right. like now I've bought into the game. Like shit, right. I'd be getting free vacations to Cabo, honey. Like to St. Bars, getting thrown out on private exactly. jets. Like once you learn to finesse it, like Instagram can give you so much. But people are crazy on it. Like, Absolutely. Chill. They 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 OD. Like, chill. <laughs> Shit, that's a lot coming from me telling me people to chill. <laughs> Low, what you got? Raves. Hey. You, okay. Last night, I literally posted an I'm, hour of like lights at raves. What? I, yeah, I'm a raver. You miss it, huh? So bad. I miss DJing the clubs to people. You know, I don't even know if I've ever been in a rave. You want me to take you to a rave? I want to go to a rave. We should Can go. I handle a rave? Yes. Do, do I have to... I can handle a rave. I can't handle a rave. Is it safe? <laughs> I'm not gonna take you nowhere not safe. Like, is it, like what's going on? Is it like, <laughs> like a rave? Like I'm thinking, I, is it like a mosh pit? Yeah. No, it's just we gonna have fun. Would I have to come with a helmet on? <laughs> you have to be wearing some crazy shit. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. I got you. Like, no, when when, when, a, you, when, a, when you come to Australia and I'm DJing a festival, like you be, oh, I'm a rave. You be VIP. <laughs> can, I, can I like ride the crowd? Like can I like crowd surf? Crowd surf. <laughs> you want? Will you they throw me back? You <laughs> <laughs> the Olympics. Bruh. Oh now you know the Olympics is underrated. The Olympics where all every country get a chance to represent their country. Yeah. No matter where you're from, no matter what you're doing, you get an opportunity to train, mm -hmm. to compete, and give your country an opportunity to stand up and hold a gold medal. Mm -hmm. That never can be overlooked. I think that's like underrated, yeah. and we definitely got to bring the pride back in it because yeah. with COVID taking away the Olympics in Japan, which I was looking forward to going, right? Mm -hmm. I know you were looking forward to mm -hmm. going. How do you feel about that? I'm so in limbo about it. I just feel like it's going to get canceled any minute. I know. And I I'm know. just so, I'm ready for it. I'm still training. Like right. we're still putting in work every day. Every day I wake up, I want to be the best I can be, but I'm just waiting for like that email or that <laughs> like, I'm watching the TV and it just pops up on, on like ESPN. Like, it's you delayed. know, just, I'm just canceled. If they cancel it, maybe one more season and then it'll come back. 
It's two years to the next one. They can't do Olympics back to back. I mean, I would think they would have to adjust the time frame. Bro, I don't know. I just, don't you think? No adjusting? I think they'll just snip it and then be like, see y'all in Paris yeah. in a couple of years, in two years. Damn, Japan is going to be so pissed. Because yeah, because that's it's, like... That's so much money for that country. So much, and the they, Japanese culture, it would have been the it's most beautiful, seamless, right. beautiful, like organized Olympics I've ever been a part of. It's a fact. So I'm praying every day that it happens. It's if, a fact. What will happen will happen. It's, it's in God's plans. And Corey Smith's defense. Lord. I don't even need to ask you. What defense? Wait a minute. It, ex it exists? No. It, That's no. a thing? Whoa there. Whoa there, buddy. Now we know that that is definitely overrated. And when Corey sees this, he's going to be so pissed. Do you even, who's Corey? Who is Corey? <laughs> Oh, he's so mad. Corey, my baby boy. That's good, Corey. Oh, he's so mad. Hey, listen, guys. This has been another great episode of Underrated, Overrated. And where can they find you at, Liz? Shit, I'm going to bed. No. I'm going to be nowhere. I'm going back to bed. Where my can they find you on your socials? Um, Ecambage, at E-C-A-M-B-A-G-E. -E. And do you have a YouTube page? I, actually, I'm about to make one. She hey, needs yeah. a YouTube page. Yeah, so I'm listen. I'm about to make one. I meant to talk to you about that. We're going to do that. And I'm gonna have a, we're going to send you over. A dude we coming on Friday to film. Okay. Is that we, cool? Yes. We need the YouTube page. I know you got. Drop your comments below if you want to see Liz's YouTube page. If you want to reach out to me and text me if you're interested in getting a date. Oh, my God. I don't want Text me. I don't 310 I'm thinking out. Leave me alone. 8610. You make sure you text me and hit that post notification button so that you can stay tuned in with us on our channel. And remember, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how good or bad it goes. Just who? Just who, baby. We out. Oh.